Well, we are going back to General Anwar Knight there. Ooh. You're out of your tank, but uh, <laughs> yes, nice salute there. And, and you know what? Uh, these things are a lot of fun. The Ontario Regiment puts this on every year, Anwar, and there will be, uh, I'm betting there will be thousands of people who come out there this weekend. My understanding, they did 4,000 when it was a one-day event. Is that so right, Jeremy? You so, you know, this is three days. Uh, they will easily double that. But it really just a fascinating opportunity. We're going to chat with Jeremy in a moment. But let me give you an idea of what you'll be able to do besides riding the tanks. We were talking to Corporal here just moments ago. Uh, now, we're going to fire off one of the rounds. And when you were in combat, how many rounds would, would the tank be equipped with? Um, roughly about 40 and that's high explosive and smoke grenades and stuff. So and then you would have a chase vehicle behind and that would refill your, your contingency? Yeah that's the, we have a, what's called a replen um, and that's when we get the food uh, ammunition, fuel, sure. um, we get that probably on a daily basis. Okay, so we're going to step back. We've been advised to step quite a ways back. And then uh, we're going to count to three, and you're going to see more, more specifically here uh, what some of this excitement will be like. So, three, two, one! Fire in the hole! Oh, jeez! Oh, my God! Wow! Holy smokes! And I plugged my ears. Oh my goodness. Uh, and you know, he was telling me that all the noise, the tank is designed to project it out. Inside, it's just a dull thud. Jeremy, come on in here for a second. So uh, if people are watching, say, you know, I'd like to come down. What do they need to know for this? Well, they need to know that the uh, show is open today, uh, Saturday and Sunday. It's nine to five. Right. Uh, it's a family friendly event. We have the capacity for 10,000 people or more. Wow. So you're not gonna run out of seating or yeah. parking here. And you'll see things like a fire show, you have all the different vehicles, there's some 40 uh, that are in operation, right? There's actually over 40. Oh, wow. Yeah, we also have Jeeps and trucks and other vehicles going back to the Second World War. And you want to dress rain or shine, good idea to bring some ear protection, especially for kids, uh, because it is going to be loud. Uh, and you know, just before we get into the weather, there's such a fascination. What do you think really captures the imagination of the average person when it comes to military vehicles like tanks? Well, it's always been, since the tanks hit the battlefield in World War I, yeah. there's just always been an awe about armored vehicles. And that's carried on through the Second World War and today, you know, things like World of Tanks have really spiked interest. Sure. And uh, the public just loves them. Like to get close to them, hear them. They're just so huge. They're just so, uh, you know, the, the, the image that they portray, I mean, well, they're just so incredible. At the uh, Ontario Regiment Museum, it's the Aquino Tank Weekend. I gotta sign off, so we're gonna hop in here. This could be the new station vehicle. So our tour will continue forward, mate. Let's do this. Move out. Oh, can we go around? I can go around. Hang <laughs> on. <laughs> okay, forward motion. You're watching it live on CTV News. All right. Is there air conditioning in here? <laughs> 